Hi Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week the Canary Channel insiders didn't get any new build and Microsoft now is out the gates so to speak early this week and has already released a brand new build to the um, Canary Channel insiders build 25370 which was made available on the 22nd which was late yesterday in my region. So just a quick look at what is hot off the presses if you would be interested. Now, um, I must just say at the outset that there's not too much personally I do find very interesting that's rolled out uh, in Build 25370, but um, just a quick video because we do like to keep you updated and posted and in the loop um, as regards to new features. Now, um, the new feature that's rolling out for Build 25370 is now support for VTPM in Hyper-V on Windows on ARM64 builds. Now, um, just to mention this quickly, um, Microsoft says that after upgrading your host OS to the latest flighted build, build 25370 and higher, you will now be able to upgrade guest Windows on ARM VMs, that's virtual machines, to Windows 11 Insider Preview Builds as it will detect the TPM2 requirement. So f support for VTPM in Hyper-V on Windows on ARM64 Builds now available uh, in this latest Canary Channel build for this week. Now, just mentioning some changes and improvements, um, there are three that have rolled out for networking, where Microsoft has mentioned they've added support for bridging adapters via command line via NetSH. Now, um, in case you didn't know what NetSH is all about, um, basically, um, it stands for Network Shell and is a command line utility that allows you to configure and display the status of various network communications server roles and components after they are installed on computers running Windows Server. So really a Windows Server feature rolling out there. And then the next is regarding quick settings for Wi-Fi, where Passpoint Wi-Fi networks will now support enhanced connection performance and will display a URL in quick settings to provide information to users about the venue or event. And I actually think that's a nice move. And then moving on to the next, um, they've also added WPA3 support to the phone link instant hotspot feature for more secure connections to a phone's hotspot um, also they've also made fixes to respect metered connections settings and um, reduce duplicate profiles and show the phone's display name in the actual network list so and um, that means that your phone now will be displayed in the actual list of networks on your PC, which I think is another nice move. And then moving on um, to the final so-called change and improvement, and this is regarding the settings where Microsoft say they have added links to advanced properties, as we can see in the screenshot provided, for network adapters and internet properties under settings, network and internet advanced network settings. So yeah, we now have more adapter options available in the latest Canary Channel build for this week, build 25370. And that's more or less, as mentioned, not too much exciting going on. But nonetheless, just to keep you posted and in the loop, that's what's happening this week in the Canary Channel with um, Windows 11 Insider Preview build 25370. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.